Yeah, my name is uh, Andrew Gurgis from Washington High School, Fremont, California. And uh, I built this half bath. It's a shower combination with the toilet. And, uh, you know, it took me about two and a half months to finish it with uh, the weekend, including it. Spring break. Okay. I used uh, 12 by 12 uh, tiles and uh, bull heads here. That took me about three weeks, and uh, I then put grout. Wait till the grout dried up, and that was all good. And then uh, before all that, I had uh, plywood because I couldn't use sheetrock. So with the plywood, I then mapped, uh, laid out where I was going to put my tile, and I put all my finished uh, pieces in which include the shower mixer in the back. and So here's the copper job that I did in the back for the back of my shower. Here's your mixer down here. Here's 290s going up here for your hot water and your cold water, and this is for your shower head. Mm -hmm. This part of the copper piping job right here is connected from, it tees right here from the cold water all the way up down that way and towards the next wall from my toilet. Mm -hmm. Once the copper was I drilled through the uh, studs. I let, then laid my copper piping down here, 90 degree to here, all the way down, about halfway mid to the block right here, about four inches out. Then I perfectly measured where I was going to put my angle stop, which this then switch turns on my water and turns off for the toilet. Mm -hmm. I then put the cable hose right here, connected it to my toilet after I'd put my wax seal on my flange on the bottom which then seals the toilet to my base floor mm -hmm. then my toilet was completely set up okay after that we tested my copper fitting jobs to make sure there was no leaks through this right here we connected a hose that went here and connected it to the uh